Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Financial News Network 11 a.m. market update. Dow's up. Well, this is the uh, 22nd of Tuesday, 22nd of March. We're looking at the Dow up 234 at 34,788. Made a new recovery high in leg C. We're going to be watching this to see what happens from this moment on. We just had a couple of little signals say maybe a little bit of a breather right here. And also what we're looking at is how does this weekly chart close on Friday? Because it's a very good action so far over the last uh, so far, the last two sessions going into this uh, little area right here of the 34,700s. Most importantly, what we're looking at is the S&P has also extended this leg C in the Chapman Way methodology in the daily chart. Very nice move up. Uh, it's trading at 4503.24, up 42. You're looking at the QQQ NDX 100 is trading up in leg A, right? Got stalled just about at the 200 period moving average. Let's see how this actually works out in terms of, oh, in terms of uh, trying to get above into the 360s. It's at 355. You're looking at the IWM. The IWM is the Russell 2000, up a dollar 85 at 207.30. In that rectangle, make it, making the the third arch formation, and now gold. Gold is down. Uh, 14 at 1916 it can't get above the nine period moving average it's having a digestive phase as is the uh, well crude oil had a nice earlier rally now it's down a dollar and a half a dollar and a quarter at 108.83 does it stall here or does it suddenly zoom into the 115 116 area that's the big question it better hold 104 otherwise it's going to slide even deeper looking at the TLT this is a real problem a new low that means yields are going to a new high amazing action so the uh, TLT is at 129.04 horrible 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 because this is the pattern in the in the monthly chart that dreaded H pattern slumps underneath the left side low of 133 um, this is just saying yields are going the, the Fed doesn't actually have to do much because the yields are doing it by themselves so this is a very interesting uh, aspect and if you're looking at the volatility index if the volatility index which slipped earlier it's down at 2307 actually starts to move into the 2450 or higher area as the market pulls back we could start to see a bit of a breather going into the close today so far it's been good action we'll see what happens i'm going to hand you over to larry pesavento trade what you see and then comes uh, think or swim Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and Tom O'Brien will be back this afternoon. I'll actually speak with Tom a little later this afternoon. Have a wonderful day. Check out my opening call, Daily News Day. See you tomorrow.